Two of the finest small medium steel chainsaws I recently noticed are the 271 and 291 models. Their features are unmatched for the price they are selling for. However, you cannot pick both of them. I also struggled with deciding between the two. Nonetheless, I eventually made a decision after assessing the differences. The biggest differences between still 271 and 291 exist in their power-to-weight ratio, displacement, and noise levels, and of course, their prices differ too. In the video, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of all these differences. Let's get started. Features of Still MS-271 Let's explore the features this power tool possesses. Pre-separation air filtration system The pre-separation air filtration system in the 271 protects the engine from airborne contaminants by filtering them out before they enter. This prevents dust and dirt from building up inside, resulting in more efficient operation. Side access chain tensioner one of the outstanding features of the MS-271 is its side access chain tensioner. It allows the user to adjust the chain using a bar wrench. In case you weren't aware, tensioning the chain from the side is far more convenient than the adjustment screw on the guide bar. Anti-vibration. Tired of buying chainsaws that vibrate endlessly? Pick a saw like the Still 271. It boasts an anti-vibration system designed to eliminate unwanted vibrations that may cause fatigue and discomfort. As a result, kickbacks are less likely to occur, thereby preventing safety hazards. Features of Still MS-291 Let's explore the features this power tool possesses. Powerful Engine The MS-291 offers a high power output of 3.76 bhp making it suitable for a variety of tasks. Whether cutting tree branches, clearing an overgrown area, or pruning branches, the saw has you covered. Low emission. A key feature of the 291 saw is its reduced emission engine technology. It decreases emissions while providing a cleaner, more efficient combustion. This makes the unit an ideal choice for those concerned about the environment. Fuel efficient. One of the main features of the 291 model is its ability to save fuel. Thanks to its two-stroke engine, the tool can run up to 20% more efficiently than conventional chainsaws. It means you can use a single tank of fuel for a longer period of time and ultimately save money. Comparative table between Still MS-271 specs and Still MS-291 specs. Differences between Still Farm Boss 271 and Still 291. Here are the five areas where these chainsaws differ the most. Displacement. Call me old-fashioned, but displacement is what I will continue to consider whenever I measure chainsaw power. Horsepower certainly matters, but I don't think it's consistent. Therefore, you should rely on displacement when estimating a chainsaw's power correctly. The Still 271 has a displacement of 50.2 cubic centimeters. It is suitable for small-scale tree cutting. If you need a little more power, check out the 291 model. With 55.5 cc displacement, it gives you plenty of power to cut those stubborn logs. Winner, Still MS-291. Horsepower. Those who prefer horsepower as a measurement of a chainsaw's power, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. Here is how these two products compare based on horsepower. The 291 saw boasts an impressive 3.76 bhp engine. It's enough for a small to medium-sized chainsaw like the 291 unit. Unfortunately, the 271 once again falls short with only 3.49 bhp. Winner, still M's 291. Noise level. People often overlook chainsaw noise levels when purchasing one. This sometimes comes back to haunt them due to the loudness of the saw. If you want to avoid becoming one of them, make sure you know how loud your chainsaw is. In this comparison, the 271 unit has a quieter sound power level of 114 to 115 decibels. On the other hand, 
the 291 chainsaw produces around 116 decibels of sound. Although the difference seems negligible, remember that even a single decibel's less sound level reduces noise noticeably. Winner, still in mess 271. Power to weight ratio. In case you didn't know, the power to weight ratio in chainsaws is a measure of the power output of a saw relative to its weight. It is expressed as horsepower per pound. The higher the PWR, the more powerful a chainsaw is for a given weight. The PWR is also an indicator of a tool's efficiency. You get 0.306 horsepower per pound with the 291 chainsaw. It is simply astounding how powerful the 291 is even though it weighs the same as its competitor. As for the 271, the power to weight ratio is 0.284 horsepower per pound, making the 291 the clear winner. Price. You cannot ignore the significance of price since everyone has a particular budget. The 271 chainsaw is sold for around $449.95 if you opt for the 18-inch bar. Those who are willing to spend more for more power may want to consider the Still 291. The Still MS291's best price $499.99 for the 18-inch bar model. Winner, Still MS271. Still 271 versus 291, which is the better option? Despite not belonging to Still's most powerful chainsaw lineup, the MS291 still makes its mark thanks to its horsepower and displacement. It also excels in terms of power to weight ratio. Overall, I would strongly recommend the Still 291 chainsaw without hesitation. Having said that, the MS-271 is a top chain sort too, primarily because of its value for money. Besides being cheaper than its counterpart, it also performs well and produces a quieter sound, which many loggers prefer. To sum up, now that you understand all the differences between still 271 and 291, you can choose the one that's right for you. In a nutshell, if you seek more displacement and horsepower, MS-291 is the obvious choice. On the other hand, the MS-271 makes more sense for those willing to forego power in exchange for affordability and less noise level. I hope this video will help you in your purchase decision. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.